watching some extreme sports stuff and we're really ooing and eyeing at everything they do, but we don't always talk about the technology that allows these guys to get up there and do that stuff. They need to have good shocks. Tell me about that, John. The biggest thing going on out there now is, is position sensitive technology. What that is is a shock absorber that typically will get about seven times stiffer at bottom out than it is at ride height. It allows the guy to have a nice soft ride at ride height, but yet go out and do incredibly huge jumps and hit incredibly large holes. So what is the advantage to having a Fox shock versus any other kind of shock if you are, like, say, an extreme biker? Well, d depending on the technology, but our internal bypass is all patented, so you have no other option there. Tell me more about the back end of this technology. How do you develop something like this, and what is the bypass? Well, the, the bypass is basically just a, a damper that's it's position sensitive. So it doesn't have any electronics in it or anything like that. It's just it mechanically knows as it compresses to get stiffer. And, and that's, that's what's going to allow you to get out there and, and, and do all these extreme things they do. In what way do you think the Fox name is synonymous with extreme sports and with this, these, the big air and the crazy jumps? Well, I mean, they've been around for a long time, since 1974. Uh, way back then, the owner of the company, Bob Fox, started with motorcycle suspension, basically because it was so lousy. You know, the stock shocks would overheat, and they just weren't very, very extreme. So, you know, he started by making a just a good quality damper, and, uh, you know, just built up from there to all different technologies from our snowmobile, uh, ATV, side-by-side, -side, bicycle, uh, the new Ford Raptor F-150 truck, uh, a whole host of military vehicles, uh, you name it, pretty much we have a shock for it. An airplane, we actually do a, uh, a shock on a Predator B, it's an unmanned drone. So uh, you name it, we're probably making a shock for it.